It's often said that NASA spent millions of dollars developing a pen that could write in zero gravity, while the Russians just used pencils. It was a warning about looking for a high-tech solution to a mundane problem. To understand why NASA was so keen on a workable space pen, you have to understand that the pencil is not suited for space travel. The problem is that they have a habit of breaking, shattering, and leaving graphite dust behind. The wood, too, can make it a serious fire risk in the pressurized, oxygen-rich capsule. All of these common issues become life-threatening hazards in space. Still, there were attempts to bring pencils into space. In 1965, the agency famously ordered 34 specially designed mechanical pencils, in hopes of finding the perfect writing tool for astronauts. But at $128 each, they were not exactly cheap. The space pen was invented by Paul Fisher. Unlike a typical pen, the Fisher space pen uses compressed nitrogen to force ink out of the nozzle, instead of using gravity to make it flow. This made it the ideal device for writing in space, while upside down, or submerged underwater. It wrote crisp and clean, without the safety concerns of a pencil. Fisher contacted NASA to give his pens, a try in 1965 and in 1967, after months of testing, they were impressed enough to bulk by 400 of them for future missions. NASA didn't commission the pen or contribute any funding to it. The Soviets soon ditched their grease pencils and were eventually buying the same Fisher pens as NASA, too. The price. After a 40% discount from Fisher, both space agencies were paying $2.39 a pen. So, the short reason is that, astronauts only used pencils, when they were waiting for something better to come along. As soon as it did, they switched and never looked back. Even the Russians thought it was a good idea. So friends now you must have better understood that why this occur, we hope that you have learned something new from this video, please like this video and don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel, thank you very much for watching this video.